everybody, it's Noah, and if you're not subscribed to me, oh my god, if you're not subscribed to me, <clears throat> or if you're like a normal human being, you don't know who I am, that's completely fine, um, you know what isn't fine, is, uh, finding out that even Cardi B lyrics cannot help this voice, you can fuck with me if you wanted to, <laughs> this is blood issues, nope, it's not, no, I quit. So again, another one of these weird ass videos. What are they for? What do they accomplish? I have no idea. But this one particular, one of particulars of, of ones is about Henrik Holm. Henrik Holm! Why Henrik? Because ask and you shall receive, brother. This is, I guess, at this point it's a series now because I've, this would be the third time of me doing th this. Not like in a creepy stalkery way just in a way of like hey i like this actor i wonder if you've heard of them if not check them out maybe because they're very talented and really good looking so i guess a quick introduction to who henrik Holm is let me try to do that for you right now oh shit that was intense so let's talk about the henriks of the homes i hear that's his actual name on his very secret birth certificate. What? No, I don't have access to that. What are you talking about? Who are you? Who do you work for? So here we go. Henrik Holm, born in September 12, 1995. He is Norwegian. He's an actor and a model. Well, this I already know. And he portrayed Evan Becknesheim on the hit teen drama series Scum, which ran for four seasons. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And uh, this was broadcast but read by, by Katet with the Pied Piper, Paid Your Soul. This was broadcasted by NRK, and he starred in the third and fourth series. So moving on to how I found out about him, it's because he was on Scum. <laughs> Even my laugh is disgusting. But anyway, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Scum, as you probably already know, especially if you subscribe to me because of that content. I put up a lot of reaction videos about the show, and I also... Uh, recommend the show to whoever lives and breathes and is within three feet of me kind of like how People who go to places to eat ramen like ramen places They show their respect to the chefs by eating the ramen in a loud slurpy way that some might Some some not me because I'm cultured, but some might consider that a bit Icky, but you know what if it's if it shows respect, I'll do it uh, and that's what I've done for Scum so far. I've heard of like um, maybe a movie and a, another series that he starred in prior to starring in Scum. Internationally, I think ever since Scum, he sort of blew up. Uh, I'm sure Norway knows him like the back of their hands. Now we're going to get to his talent and why I think you should you should be on this guy like white on rice. It's not racist. I'm Asian. It's not racist. I'm Asian. I'm just kidding. That's not how the world works. And I have no voice. Oh my god. Sorry. You're looking at my Instagrams. The first thing I see is this. Uh, oh my god. That's a, that's a man for another video. Look at this. This is one of the more recent um, pictures I've seen of him. Apart from the photo shoot that he did with uh, Tariai. I think... Okay. Maybe one of the things that I like about Hedrick, and this is the same reason why I sometimes obsess over people in line with this kid, is that... They lead the life that I want to. I feel like I'm, I don't know, like, is because I want their starter pack. I want a hot girlfriend and a hot boyfriend, and I just want to live the bisexual dream. <laughs> and I feel like, I feel like it's guys like Henrik that are capable of doing that. I'm not, I'm not calling him out, uh, calling out his sexuality or anything. I'm just saying that I'm, you know, that's what I want. <laughs> Okay, so I'm it's this is this entire segment is reflecting poorly on me not on Henrik. Please. Please don't misunderstand. Ah! Look at this patootie Look at him Standing in the green lawn. Oh this one woman though that's taking a picture of the bush. That's me That is me in their lives when he does the Ariana Grande Am I just like reacting to his Instagram right now? You know Instagram has become one of those things where if you are following a celebrity You check if they have an Instagram you check if they have Twitter or just like social media in general And I think his activity on Instagram 
uh, is collaborative of himself, his dog, his mom, his girlfriend, and it just kind of you as a fan, you know, from the outside looking in, it paints you like a picture, no matter how vague that picture is, of what his life might be like, you know, behind the camera or when we're not seeing him. And it's great. I like it. I like this environment that he sort of put together for us to think that he lives in. It looks so quaint and really pretty and also filtered such a faded lovely way that you're just like yes bitch oh yeah and he tweeted this oh no not tweeted but he he posted this too that's awesome i loved moonlight that was a good movie i don't know man like he's so fan servicey but i guess that also plays into the fact that the show scum as a whole became pretty fan servicey throughout uh the progression of the series uh evan in season three and season four uh, was excellent. I I love the writing of his character. I love the development of it. I love the arc. I love the the nuance and the subtlety that Henrik brought to the character in terms of just like making him realistic. He validated Evan. Henrik portrayed that character to the ends of the earth. He you know I can't imagine anyone else playing that role. Um, I think one of the scenes that really got me. And made me understand that Henrik is so much more like he offered this this role so much more than I I could have ever predicted or imagined. That would be in episode eight. He's suffering through an episode as a result of his bipolar disorder, and Isaac, poor little Isaac, just has to like sit there and experience it. There are actors that live their role, and Evan is one of them. He reacts appropriately i feel like he has got the timing down in terms of delivering his dialogue and the way that he does it let's talk about henja you guys which i don't know if this is a thing i actually i ship evan and isaac more than i do henrik and tariai just because i don't know henrik and tariai all that well and if there's anything that i can sort of derive from having watched uh Tariai, both Henrik and Tariai in, in the few interviews that they're in or Instagram stories or what what have you it's that they are quite different from their characters yeah so the point that I'm trying to make is that I don't know I don't know if there's much that I can say about Henje we can look up the videos and I can try to show you some Henje but honestly like I personally don't ship them because again, I don't know them, and the show has done a really good job of making sure that these kids can still maintain some sort of privacy in a very, in the you know, in spite of the fact that they've sort of shot into stardom because of the show. Okay, I don't know if I've ever made this clear, but probably season three, episode two of Scum, is my favorite episode. Cardamoma. I believed it. Every, every look that they gave each other, every small smile, every stolen glance, every shy uh, touch of the hand or accidental like contact, physical contact, I was dying. So by the end of season four, there were clips uploaded featuring the different characters and how it would go if they were the main. And obviously one of my favorites was Evan's because one of the uh, inner turmoils of this character, Evan, is that he feels like there's nothing that he does for Isa. Um, and that's the first conflict that we see set up uh, as he's texting his friends and trying to make sure that Isaac's birthday party goes as planned down to the T. In that clip, Isaac gets worked up over a bypasser that, you know, screams derogatory, homophobic things at them because idiots exist everywhere. He kind of loses his mind a little bit, but who centers him? <clears throat> Uh, who centers me? None other than our beautiful Evan. You see in this very small clip the contribution that he has in that relationship and how he's become as much of a voice of reason for Isaac. What I'm saying is that there's an equal reciprocation of trust and love between the two of them. Ha! I'm sorry. Did that tongue attack anyone else? You know what I like too is the Eva Crack. If you have never gone through an Eva Crack video before, I highly recommend it. Just type it into YouTube. You're welcome. When I was filming reactions for uh, season four, I think it was this happened at around episode six or episode five, and I downed an entire fucking bottle of wine. 
I didn't down the entire bottle, but it felt like half the bottle was inside my body and half of me was wine and the other half was just bad intentions. Nope, I didn't even see him. Nope, we're skipping that. I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> So that concludes my video my video I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you did feel free to give this a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it leave me a comment um, for whatever reason you want to tell me about your day if you want to tell me about the new fungus infection that you've developed you know what I want to hear about it uh, and if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more feel free to hit that subscribe button it's free it's whatever uh, I'm gonna go now and eat some kimchi flavored chips I'm staring at it so lovingly at the moment like this is the way that I would look at someone attractive like Henry Holm to come here often or if you have watched up until this point thank you so much my voice thanks you can you understand my voice because i can't this has been noah um and uh prepare for a movie review yeah it should be for the movie the way he looks i pre-recorded that and it's already edited so it's ready for upload i just wanted to get this video in as well because uh you know when i get when i get some henrik homan you know what i'm trying to say even I don't know what I'm trying to say, so if you could explain that to me, I would greatly appreciate it. Mic drop? Okay.